Hey everybody, we're here at the second annual Dancing Spider Film Festival at the Laverne Drive-In, and our very own Rob Lehman came in from the corner of Afton and Afton, Wyoming, to see our films this evening and to talk to our fellow podcasters. Hi, I'm here. This is Rob Lehman. Were you worried I wasn't? I was terrified. Yeah, well, thanks for caring about me, buddy. Boy, I just flew in from the corner of Afton and Afton, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> well, you learned from Brewster. I sure did. Boy, oh boy, my buddy Brewster. So anyways, uh, this week you, we have a little special episode for you. We talked to Jay Al- a couple of local filmmakers, excuse me. One is Jay Albertson. He produced, wrote and direct, Jay, I'm sorry. He wrote and direct one of the movies here, Why Fight, a very entertaining short. We also talked to Dominic Wenicke. And he did had two shorts in this, 444 and Last Exit to Jupiter. So, give it a listen. We're here with Two Boys, One Podcast. I'm Zeke. And I'm Zeke. And we have our first, uh, our first guest here with... Uh, I'm Jay Warren. Also famous for Brozan. And we're at the Dancing Spider Film Festival, and he has a movie here. Would you like to talk a little bit about Wi-Fi? Uh, well, yeah, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, it was a movie that I wrote... The last year I worked at that coffee house, so everything you see in there, it's just kind of my basic frustration with working at that coffee house at the time. Um, people get very touchy when they expect Wi-Fi and they can't connect to the said Wi-Fi, so that's kind of where it came from. <laughs> uh, my brother works at a, a coffee shop. He's worked at several, and it seems like those stories are pretty common where you just end up hating people and life in general. Yep, yep. Sam, is that what we're talking about? Yep. Yep, I worked with Sam before. Yeah, uh, Sam worked at that same coffee house. Sure, and I remember him coming home with black eyes, so that makes sense. (laughs) I was hoping you could clear something up for me. Are you positive it's pronounced Wi-Fight and not Wii-Fight? I'm pretty positive. How positive? Like 100% positive. But, so there's that game system called a Wii. Right, but you've seen like the little logo for Wi-Fi at places, right? I thought it was called Wi-Fi. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe. <laughs> I, I guess the point being here is I was expecting a movie about Wii fighters, mm-hmm. little tiny fighters. Was it? So I was a little. I mean, I don't want to say disappointed, but because you were expecting another Ninja Academy. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually wow. doing the Ninja Ninja now. And just put your mind to that, and you can see them dancing around a fire, putting their right foot in, put their right foot out, put their right foot in their mouth, and ninja all about. Zeke, can you believe somebody actually listens to that shit? I can now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it was a great movie. I very much enjoyed it. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, well, thanks for having. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Are you releasing it on Vimeo now? Are you doing more festivals? Uh, we're still in the festival circuit. Okay. Um, so hopefully at some point it'll be on YouTubes. Sure. On well, YouTubes. I encourage people to check it out and uh, watch for their opportunity to see it. Listen to Brozan. Yeah, if you we are also we also have a podcast uh, called Roseanne. If you're into Roseanne, you might like it. So. Do it, bro. All right, so we're here again with Two Boys One Podcast. I'm Rob, and I'm Rob. He's Rob. All right, but but we're here with our guests tonight, who also have a podcast. So can you introduce yourselves and your podcast and your films and why you came back to Dancing Spider Year Two? Uh, well, I'm Dominic Winnicky. I'm Eri Show, and we have the Chaos Reigns podcast. And this year at Dancing Spider, we have we premiered 4:44 a.m. So you were actually the first person to see it outside of us. And I was the first person to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet either. Yeah, and uh, we're also showing tomorrow night uh, Last Exit to Jupiter, which uh, yeah. So I very much enjoyed this film. Uh, how did you come up with the title? Um, 444 was basically, um, it, it kind of comes out of a sad story. Um, when our dog got diagnosed with cancer, I kept having a reoccurring nightmare, and it kept happening at 444. So as a way to deal with that, I created the little short that we just did, and kind of, it was cathartic. Yeah. Very cool. Well, that, was, that was awesome. Thank you for sharing it with us. This is your, that was your third film to screen at Dancing yes. Spider. Uh, we're going to have to give you a permanent like seat here soon. <laughs> Uh, talk a little bit about Last Exit to Jupiter. Uh, Last Exit to Jupiter is a little bit longer. It's a drama. It's about, what is it, 32 minutes? Yeah. Um, 
which is a dive in for me into a different genre since I tend to prefer horror. But um, I think it turned out pretty well. So it's basically about a guy who's on the road of life, um, kind of at the end of his road, meets a girl who's at the beginning of her road, and just kind of how they interact with each other. Uh, and now to touch base with your Chaos Reigns podcast, uh, Disney versus horror is the concept <laughs> that I'm most familiar with on that. That's pretty accurate. Yeah, I, I like to talk about... You like to talk about the Disney, I like to talk about the horror. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I like to... Fo- I've always been a lifelong horror fan. She's a lifelong Disney fan. Uh, I'm trying to... We want to maybe get some special episodes where I introduce her into horror films but <laughs> where we watch it live and like we're recording the whole thing i think i'll just laugh the whole time though yeah that's but, how i deal with my uh, stress <laughs> we try to focus on like filmmaking acting tips uh just random general whatever comes to we mind we <laughs> use the title of the podcast as a crutch for when we go off topic so which oh. is often <laughs> very often we at two boys one podcast know nothing about going off topic <laughs> Never happened to us, not one bit. I would like to ask you, uh, what are your horror influences, Dominic? I uh, myself am... Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I like horror movies, sorry. Um, as I th- always, uh, for me, like the biggest one that I've always... I, I love the Friday the 13th franchise, even though I know they're cheesy and not the, the best, but I think The Exorcist is almost one of the perfect films as far as filmmaking uh, with visuals and sound, and it still holds up almost, what, 43 years later, so... I would say it's one of the very few films that I can say I've truly been scared of in my life. Yes, me too. The first time I saw it, I was probably 18, 19, and I'm like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing the re-release in theaters, and holy cow, I, I didn't sleep for a week when she sp- spider crawls down the stairs. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah that got me too. And actually, uh, seeing it, the, the re-release was great because there was one simple scene where the telephone rings, and just hitting her in the surround sound just scared the shit out of me, so... <laughs> I remember that so vividly. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh, I don't know. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us, guys. Yeah, no problem. We'll have to have uh, do a crossover at some yeah, point. Yeah, we love crossovers. Yeah, sure. I think we definitely should. How do we find you? Uh, we are, the podcast is on, uh, you can, on... Uh, Facebook and Twitter, but we don't, yeah. we don't update Twitter, but still follow Facebook. us. Facebook. Um, um, it's available on iTunes, Stitcher, all available. Um, but you can connect with us on Facebook through Warwolf Productions or Chaos Reigns and uh, keep an idea on what's going on. Look forward to it. You got two more fans. Aww. Thanks. For sure. <laughs> Pardon me? Are you sure you're doing this right? I'm quite sure. Hey, we're back here with Two Boys One Cat Podcast Extra Special Edition with... Uh, Jay Warren. And Jay, you're stuck with Rob today. Jay, I just wanted to ask you a question here. I really find the Family Circus very funny. What do you think of it? Uh, family Circus? Um, not not my cup of tea. Really don't like it. <laughs> Did you see that one where Jeffrey went went out the back he door? He the meatballs meatbulbs. <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> Killer every time. Every time. And then there was that time he went Pischetti? out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why, why do they call uh, the pat? No, wait, the past is a gift. The future, the future is a thing. The present, and, and they call it the present. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's that's family circus. Yep. <laughs> My parents had that hanging on the wall or on the bulletin board. We got you got came out of our church bulletin. Oh, that that explains a lot about you. I don't like you. Uh, anyways, so this is Jay Warren from uh, Brozan. How do we get? A, how do we find Brozan? Well, uh, you can follow us on Facebook. We do have a Twitter account that's not updated very often, uh, and we're also on iTunes and we're on SoundCloud. Very good. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Of course. That's all we have from the horse's mouth this evening. You've heard from two of our local filmmakers and two of our fellow podcasters, and hopefully down the road we're able to, we're able to cross over on some casting with them. But in the meantime, if you're a filmmaker, be sure to look for submission availability starting January 1st. If you're just a film fan, come to our next film festival. It'll be the weekend after Labor Day in September, and I'm sure we'll be talking about it between now and then. So do you have anything for them, Rob, before you fly back to Afton? Boy, I... Got to rest my wings a little bit, buddy. Give me a break. <laughs> Boy, if you like talking to weirdos like myself, 
Come to the Dancing Spider Film Festival. I promise I'll be perched far away. You won't have to talk to me. There's lots of normal people there. It's very fun, very entertaining, and it's cheap. And you're supporting local filmmakers. You're sp- supporting a local business, Zeke and the Drive-In. Come check it out, for crying out loud. Yeah, it's kind of a fun thing. I mean, not to toot our own horn, but it's one of three in the country and, and really one of two that run this way, legitimate film festivals that show independent film. And uh, there, it's really not anything that you can find almost anywhere else in the country. So if you're interested, look us up. He's very, very, very right. And it's a drive-in movie film festival, if you didn't catch that earlier. And uh, you know what? Listen to Brozan and uh, Chaos Reigns. Those are the podcasts. Brozan by Jay Albertson. Or Darn Tootin' Fun. Darn Tootin' Fun. Chaos Reigns by Dominic Winnicky. Thanks for listening, guys. Okay, love you, bye. I think you're all swell. I think you're all swell.